All right, everyone, there have been a lot of problematic news stories about Israel, Netanyahu, and, and stuff like that lately. It's funny because, like, Netanyahu says, well, he's going to annex, like, the rest of the West Bank, and the U.S. says, well, we're, we're not standing behind or against that decision. Our policy is the same, and then Corbyn comes out, smacks him in the cock. Netanyahu's having all sorts of problems over there, but now you've got a story from over here, which appears to have been partially gaslit, like the day after, I wonder why, about Israel using Stingray devices around the White House to try to spy supposedly on Trump. Um, and Trump's response so far has been to not respond to it. He, he appears to be comfortable with the fact that the Israeli government may have conducted extensive surveillance in D.C. over the last, like, what, year or two? Um, I'm not comfortable with it. Foreign espionage should be dealt with uh, harshly. Uh, we would. If, can you imagine if Iran had managed to plant some stingray devices around the White House? What kind of a diplomatic quarrel that would lead to? I remember the time that the NSA was spying on Angela Merkel's cell phone. This was mid Obama era. No, you probably don't because it wasn't covered largely at the time, and it was quickly memory hold and knocked offline as much as possible so that people wouldn't realize that Obama was a desperate fascistic authoritarian. Obama loved surveillance. He was spying on AP journos that were critical of him, too, to try to dig up dirt on him to ruin their careers. Somehow he never got in trouble for this because the left just rolled over backwards the same way the Republicans did the day after 9-11 with the Patriot Act. Anyway, <clears throat> Trump should respond more. It's dismaying that he hasn't. Uh, and, of course, Netanyahu has come out and said, well, this never happened. Oh, we deny everything. That's, it's like, yeah, we, we were spying on your leader for years. We, try, we tried to conduct espionage on your own soil. It wasn't even like a cyber intrusion. We sent a spy to D.C., to your fucking capital, within a few blocks of the White House, and set up surveillance devices to spy on the private conversations of your fucking executive leader. No, no, we t yeah, we totally did that. Like, they're going to own up to it, like any country would. The thing is, can you imagine if these were Russian devices? No, oh, this would be front page news for a month. Why isn't Trump responding more? It's, it's obvious it's the proof that he's a pawn. Imagine if you saw a headline like that from CNN and how that would go over in the current election season. Trump is an Israeli asset, says CNN, because he won't respond to the fact that he got objectively spied on by Israeli spies. Can you imagine how funny it would be? I mean, I'm just arguing devil's advocate here. How fucking hilarious would it be to see the response to that? I'm sure the ADL would definitely have a very nonpartisan approach to that fucking headline. Oh man, it would be glorious. It'd be hilarious. I you'd never hear the end of it. Every every sat every comedy program in the world would be spinning out. It'd be the joke factory would go into hyperdrive. It'd be the funniest fucking shit ever. I almost hope something like that happens. Can't some reporter at CNN take one for the team, ignore the editors, and run an article like that behind their back just for a few minutes, long enough for it to get archived by 4chan? Oh, man. <laughs> the, the lulls, think of them. You'd be a legend. Just make sure that you associate your name with it. Somebody else will hire you. The, 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 yeah, the Babylon B will hire you. Don't worry, you'll still have a job. By the way, it was pointed out yesterday that Babylon B and Onion articles at this point were approaching reality. The, the closer that those, you know, or like the Daily Current, some of these groups... These groups that make fake headlines and fake news, or the DPRK news, Twitter, stuff like that, the closer that they appear to appear to approach reality, the more dangerous things are. Uh, if they're obviously satire most of the time, things are calm. As things get more stressful and weird and fucked up, it begins to be the same as reality. So you can literally, like, right now you can read The Onion and 90% of it will be real news. Because, I mean, the real news is so farcical, so far out there, and so whacked as far as politics and diplomacy. It doesn't make any difference. There's no way to make reality any funnier than it already is. It's a fucking clown world. It's basically what the clown world meme, by the way, means. Some people think it has to do with Nazi worship. It's more about observing the uh, objective stupidity with which the world is currently functioning. Anyway, what I would say is this. Anytime a foreign state is spying on us, it should be dealt with appropriately. Like, it's not entirely clear whether any data was actually compromised. So there's that saving grace, I suppose. But the fact that a supposedly allied nation would attempt to deploy these devices in such a manner, like, we have a First Amendment and Fourth Amendment debate to be had over Stingray devices when they're deployed here in the U.S. to secretly record the context uh, and content of, of phone calls and things like that using these devices is already... Uh, a debatable issue within the context of U.S. constitutional law. 
Like in court, the police are like, well, we got this phone call. He admitted to a murder. Oh, but you secretly spied. And, you know, did you get a proper warrant? And this methodology is is more dragnet. So, like, you caught up other people's data. And there's a Fourth Amendment privacy concern. And it gets dragged down court quite a bit. So for a foreign state to compromise that same data, I mean, these devices, I'm assuming, weren't just uh, collecting one person's phone results, assuming they were collecting anything at all. There was at least an attempt. Somebody put them there. Israel denies it. Well, then that's also concerning. Well, then who done it? Was it Russia, Iran, China? My bet would be on China. China is always the, the go-to first explanation because there's such massive amounts of surveillance that go on. Like China, if there's a data intrusion, it's usually from China. If it's in the United States or the West, it's going to be from China. Uh, if there's a spying attempt, like wasn't Feinstein's driver a Chinese communist spy for like, what, 15, 20 years? Successful infiltration, never got a hold of anything particularly classified, but could have. Feinstein having a, a talk with someone else who's on some security council about some major diplomatic issue in the back of a limo, and all of a sudden China knows about it. There's a dude tearing a, t a tape recorder or whatever. I mean, we never even hear anything about that. Where's the follow-up to that story? They kick the spy out. They don't care anymore. Oh, don't worry. You never heard anything too uh, classified, so we don't care about it anymore. This story will get memory hold uh, worse than Epstein, though. That's the thing. Chinese spying on Feinstein's driver sort of thing. Epstein, Stingray Israeli devices, Obama spying on the AP, Michael Hastings' existence. You know, there are certain things that are highly significant that just don't get talked about long enough. And you always wonder why. And of course, you're a conspiracy theorist, definitely, if you think that there's anything odd possibly going on with these stories and their coverage. That's about all. Peace out.